All right, what's going on, y'all? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So PlayStation has confirmed via Insomniac that Marvel Spider-Man 2 will be releasing on PS5 only and exclusively in fall of 2023. That's fall of next year. And there's a few things I want to address about this for a few things. You know, there's a few things I'm concerned about, a few concerns I have. Right. So first, I emphasize PS5 only because. I was skeptical that it would actually be PS5 only, even though, yes, they did say that before, but they've said a lot of things before. I still didn't fully believe them when they said this was going to be PS5 only. I think there was still a possibility that it was going to, you know, also be on PS4. I, I don't know if I still fully believe them that it's going to be PS5 only, right? Still not sure I fully believe them. I like I 80% believe them. There's still that 20% chance. I feel like they might pull some some nonsense out the hat out they hat. This might be a pump fake. But they say it, so I'm I'm gonna take them at their word for now, right? So it's gonna be PS5 only. That's great. You know, we got the news that even the Horizon DLC that's coming out next year is gonna be PS5 only. So, so these are all um signs that they are moving away from the PS4. Um, there was a report, that financial report that we saw, uh, what was it, earlier this year, that also told us that they were going to be uh, moving away from PS, PS4. There were going to be some scatterings and some games here and there, case-by-case -case basis, that could also uh, be on PS4, and they're, they're not completely abandoning it yet. Um, but I assumed it, it would be seldom situations. But you never knew what those situations could be. I thought it could still be Spider-Man, um, given the fact that, you know, look at how much God of War um, Ragnarok made um, and how much it sold in the first three days. And that was in part to the PS4, even though they did confirm 70 percent of God of War Ragnarok sales were uh, were PS5. So that's a great thing. That's a great sign knowing that, you know, tells them, hey, you can abandon this PS4. You can move forward. Um, especially with the fact that PS5s are becoming a lot more uh, readily available. So all good things, all good signs. I'm glad this is at least what they claim to be PS5 only. Um, but I think, I think they are. We didn't get a, an, an official release date, right? They just told us fall 2023. And most of us assumed, based on the timeline, it was going to be a fall 2023 release anyway. That just made sense. But I think they're telling us this now because next year, as far as first party releases for PS5, is going to be fairly light, right? You have Horizon Call of the Mountain, which is a VR game, but still first party by, by Guerrilla Games. Um, and aside from that, and Spider-Man, which we know is coming in the fall, unless I'm forgetting one other first party game, I think that's it. Now, typically, I don't really... Typically, I don't think PlayStation is going to announce a game and release it in the same year. That almost never happens with PlayStation. So I think that's it's unlikely for that to, to happen unless they announce it in the very beginning of the year. Right. So I do think aside from the second party and third party, uh, you know, partnerships and releases, you know, the the uh, the first spokens and the final fantasies and a few others, um, I think it's going to be a year that they mainly rely on on you know their partnerships and and these consoles exclusives that they've signed deals on i think for first party games uh 2023 is going to be a year of reveals and announcements a lot of these playstation first party studios i think the time uh the time matches up and lines up perfectly for them to be ready to announce what games they're working on and we kind of know what a lot of these studios are working on um it's been all but confirmed uh, like Fire Sprite, we know they're working on a, a the Twisted Metal reboot. Um, Guerrilla Games is working on some type of shooter. That's their like secondary uh, project that they've been working on besides Horizon. We know Corey Barlog, uh, even at Santa Monica, um, the 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 he he wasn't the director on God of War. He was the he was the creative director, but he wasn't the head of God of War Ragnarok because him. And uh, another team were working on something else that might not, you know, be revealed next year. But like I said, uh, Fire Sprite, uh, maybe something from Gorilla from Gorilla Games, maybe Team Asobi. Uh, I mean, I have no faith in Media Molecule at this point. 
Um, but you know, Haven Studios, Blue Point Games, uh, you know, and and there's a there's a few other studios that you know, Sucker Punch. Um, we you know we don't know what they've really been doing. So there's a bunch of like PlayStation projects and PlayStation Studios that this generation they haven't an- announced or shown their uh you know their, their their first project for the PS5 and what they've been working on. So I think the time um lines up perfectly uh with for an, a bunch of announcements and reveals. So it's going to be an, a year of announcements and reveals. Even you know Naughty Dog, we know they're working on factions. I don't listen that's that's my most anticipated game I want more than anything is factions. Y'all know that. But I just have no faith that it's coming out next uh, next year. I think it's just going to be announced next year. We're going to see it next year. And it's going to come out in 2020, um, in 2024. So I think next year is probably going to be uh, probably the lightest year for PlayStation um, first party moving forward. Because uh, t- the, the lightest year before that, before this, was, was it 2020? I think 2020 was a year where another year where they mainly relied on like some partnerships and stuff like that. Um, but they didn't have a lot of first party stuff. So I think 2024 and beyond, that's when it the, like the steady pace of, of major games is will continually uh, will continue to, to release. And it's going to be, you know, very uh, even pacing. So so it only gets better from from here um, and especially after 2023. Uh so I think that's why they made the the announcement um, and told us when this game, you know, when Spider Man is, is coming out. And they've been pretty good with announcements lately, you know, putting trailers in the Game Awards and putting stuff on the PlayStation blog. But with Spider Man, right? So a few things about Spider Man. It's PS Five only, which is great. But I'm concerned and worried if they're actually going to do anything that makes us feel and believe that they are taking advantage of the PlayStation 5 or is this going to be kind of just a PS4 game that happens to be exclusive on PlayStation 5 if you get if you get what I mean right because there's a lot of games that may be current gen only but they're real uh, really honestly cross gen games without being on the the previous platform and that's what this could be um, so I'm just concerned about that because I think Spider-Man uh, obviously in t- 2017 was a great game, right? I think the weakest part of Spider-Man, and people are gonna might take this wrong. It it you could argue it was the combat. That doesn't mean the combat wasn't great, but it you could argue that it was pretty weak as far as like the enemy design and like the and just the general general combat, the depth and the nuance of it, right? Of course, you had great combo potential. I'm not saying that wasn't there, but I think may I think they have to take it a step further as far as how fluid and 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 take the the depth of the combat even deeper, especially with the enemies, because honestly, the enemies and in, 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 in that you fought in Spider Man. The boss, the boss designs were kind of lackluster. I mean, to the point where when you unlock all of the 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 gadgets and stuff in Spider Man, let's be honest, I've I beat a lot of the, the the enemies in that game just by spamming gadgets. So I think they have to come up with a little bit more complexity and and a few more enemies that actually test you that actually have some depth that make it a little bit more strategic um you know just fighting your average thug on the street isn't really that riveting you know what i'm saying so you need a little bit more you need a little bit more sauce when it comes to the the enemies and the bosses because the boss designs were pretty elementary elementary and rudimentary if we're being honest like like that that what was it the vulture and rhino boss fight let's be real wasn't that boss fight pretty much comprised of standing in the way of a of a hazard and making Rhino run into it? That was PS2 level boss design. So I need them to take it up a, a, a few notches when it comes to enemies, combat, and boss design. 
um, and really do something that makes us feel like it's a step up above the, the you know, the game that we played on PS4. And this makes it feel like a, uh, you know, a, more of a PS5 game. Um, because, uh, because to me, that's what stops Spider-Man from being a, an actual game of, Spider-Man 2020, Spider-Man 2 is definitely going to be a game of the year nominee. But I never, I don't have any faith that like a Spider-Man game as we know it, like the, like what we played in 2017, could actually be a game of the year winner. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those games that this will this it, it's a shoe win. They could release a Spider-Man like this every single year, and it will be a nominee. But I'm just never convinced unless they show me something different that this will this could uh, you know possibly be an actual winner. And, and let's be real. It's probably not going to win next year. I'm not talking about personal game of the years. It, you know, it, it has the chance of being a lot of people's personal game of the years. But winning game of the year at the Keeleys, yeah, you got a lot of competition. So it, it's just, you know, you got Zelda coming out and, you know, a bunch of other games. So it's just unlikely. It's not, it's not on the level of, you know, a, a, a God of War or... um you know, one of the last of us, one of those, you know, one of them, a Zelda, it's not on that level, right? Where I don't think it's on par with each company's or each studio's best game. It's not, I, I've never really considered Spider-Man to be at that level. It's just, a. it just needs something to put it over the top. I'm not sure what that is. Hopefully they figure it, figure it out. Um, in their de in their development of this game, because to me it's not the story. The story the story in Spider Man, even though obviously you could say it's 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 kind of like cheating because they have the 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 baseline and the foundation for a lot of Spider Man stories. Uh, because it's not an original um, IP they're making, um, they can take a lot from uh, inspiration from the comics and animated shows and stuff like that. So, they, but even though they did a few original things in the in the game. The story to me was 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 game of the year quality. The visuals at the time was game of the year quality. But I think that gameplay and combat definitely was lacking in some in some capacities and some dimensions, especially the damn Mary Jane, um, especially the Mary Jane parts. And now we know in this game, we're going to be able to play as Miles and Peter. Uh, and I do think Miles Morales ha had better combat than than you know Spider Man twenty seventeen. So what are you gonna do with both of these characters? You know how are you gonna intertwine it? What are you really gonna? How are you gonna capitalize off both of these characters being in, in your game? I hope they do something special with it. I think if they do something special, then you could be like, okay, this actually has a chance of winning Game of the Year rather than just everybody saying oh it should be nominated you get what i'm saying so those are my only concerns i hope they do something you know really uh special with with the combat and actually give me a challenge give me a challenge when when it comes to these enemies because i'm being real with you the game even on the hardest difficulty you could just you could just spam the, like i said the gadgets and stuff like that so you need to design enemies in a way where okay this enemy can't just be beaten by you spamming gadgets you know they like you know how certain games have an and have enemies that counter certain um certain combat styles and, and and certain gadgets and certain moves you need that so a so the player can't just approach every enemy the same way because honestly in Spider-Man for the most part you can do that every enemy oh I'm just going to do the same thing I do with it, with all the other ones and it's going to work that can't you can't have that you know you need some some real special archetypes or whatever so those are my um, concerns and thoughts about this. Just wanted to get that out. Uh, let me know what y'all think. And um, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. All that good stuff. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.